All right, so let's take a look at some questions and see if we understand the concept. It asks, is 6,803 divisible by 3? Well, the divisibility rule of 3 says add them all together. 6 and 8 is 14, plus 0 is still 14, plus 3 is 17. 17 is not divisible by 3, so this number is not divisible by 3. Is 6 a factor of 8,046? Now, factor, if we recall from uh, chapter 1, means if I multiply this by something else, it is a factor. So it's saying, is this times something equal to that? It's the same thing as asking, is it divisible? But it's a different term. You have to be familiar with this terminology. So how do I determine if, it's, if 6 is a factor of 8,046, or is 6 evenly divisible into 8,046? Well, the, our divisibility rule for 6 is it must be even and divisible by 3. So we're going to use those two rules. I see that it's even, so it is divisible by 2. And is it divisible by 3? 8 and 0 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 is divisible by 3, so this number is divisible by 3. And we just determined that it's divisible by 2 and 3, which is 6. So the answer is yes. 6 is a factor of 8,046. This question here says, is 9 a divisor of 846? A new word. Essentially, what it's saying when we talk about divisors is it's different terminology. 9 is the divisor. If we were looking at it in this form, the 9 would be in the denominator. So we want to know if it's divisible by 9. Well, our rule of 9, similar to that of 3, is we just sum them up. 8 and 4 is 12, plus 6 is 18. 18 is divisible by 9, so that number must be divisible by 9. All right, um, let's take a look at the next one. Is 19,340 divisible by this following list of numbers? Is it divisible by 2? Well, I see it, it's even. So yes, it is divisible by 2. Does it? Does its digit sum to 3? Well, let's find out. 1 and 9 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 4 is 17, plus 0 is still 17. 17 is not divisible by 3. So this number is not divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 5? Or, well, we just look at the last digit. It's a 0. So if it was a 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. So this number ends in 0. It is divisible. Is it divisible by 6? Well, here's good news. We've already done 2 and 3, and we've seen it wasn't divisible by 3. So it can't be divisible by 6. Is it divisible by 9? Well, here's another shortcut. If it's not divisible by 3, it can't be divisible by 9, because 9 is 3 times 3. Is it divisible by 10? We look at the last digit. We see it is 0. So yes, this is divisible by 10. So we could eventually break that number down to all of its factors, which we'll actually see in the next section of chapter 2. This says, find a value so that 4,200 and something 5 is divisible by 3. Find a value that would make this divisible by 3. Essentially, sum up these digits and find out another digit you would need in order this for this to sum to some value that will be divisible by 3. I'm going to let you try this one on your own. And uh, I'll do this one here for you, 6,370 something. Is it divisible by 2? Well, how do we know if something's divisible by 2? It ends in an even number. So there are actually different answers that we may find for these, but maybe we want to list them all. So if this ends in a 0, a 2, 4, 6, or 8, this number will then be divisible by 2. So try this one on your own. And you already know that there are different answers for this one. All right, <clears throat> let's look at divisibility of a product. And if we recall product, that terminology just means these multiplied together. Product means multiplication would give us this. So we're given this information, 3 times 4 times 5 times 10 times 12 is 7,200. 
It asks us to find the quotient, another term we need to be familiar with. It means division of 7,200 and 150. Essentially, it's saying find the value of this division, 7,200 divided by 150. Well, we can do a shortcut if we know our rules of division. Given this information, I can say, well, what's 150 divisible by? The smaller number is going to be the easiest thing to divide. And I can say, well, 150, it's divisible by 10, because it ends in 0 and 5. So it's divisible by 10 and 5. And if I sum up the digits, 1 and 5 is 6, plus 0 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3. So 150 is divisible by 3, 5, and 10. If I want to divide 7,200 by 150, essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking 150 out of it. How many times? Well, that's what the quotient is. How many times can I subtract 150 from this number? Well, here's the shortcut. If we've already determined that 150 is 3 times 5 times 10, what are the remaining factors? The remaining factors is the quotient. So we actually don't have to do any division. We can do multiplication. 4 times 12 is 48. So we found that value by multiplication instead of division. And for many of us, even for myself, multiplying always seems to come easier than division. Now this question here says, does 16 evenly divide the product of these values? So this one I'm going to leave for you to try. Determine if 16 goes into that value. Find out what values you need to divide into this. Do they exist here? Try it out and see what you get. Thank you for watching.